All right, so let's dive into some exciting news from the world of Fedora Linux. The popular Linux distro is about to get a brand new installer. Now, if you've ever tried setting up Fedora, you might already know that the installer, known as Anaconda, isn't exactly perfect. It's powerful but can feel a bit outdated and confusing for some users. The Fedora team recognizes this, and they're working on a replacement that's set to make the process much smoother and more intuitive. So, what's changing? Well, Fedora's current installer has been around for over 25 years. The design has become a bit cluttered and, let's be honest, it can leave you hunting through all kinds of settings. The Fedora team is rethinking this approach, and they've said they're creating a more streamlined experience where users are guided through each step in a clear, linear order. So, no more digging around to find what you need. Everything will be straightforward. Now, the new installer is actually organized around four main tasks that cover what most people need. Using the entire drive for a fresh installation, sharing the drive with another operating system for dual booting, reinstalling Fedora, and creating custom partitions. And this update isn't just for looks. The Fedora team also included easier dual boot and reinstall options, making things much simpler for users who want to tweak their setups without starting from scratch. And here's a cool tech twist. Rather than porting the installer to GTK4, which would mean a massive overhaul of the front end, they're building it with web technologies. This makes it similar to what Canonical did with Ubuntu's installer, which they created using Google's Flutter framework. But Fedora's team is doing things their own way. Their installer will be powered by Cockpit, and the interface itself will be rendered with Firefox instead of the more commonly used Chromium or Electron frameworks. Using web tech like this has some big benefits. It's not only going to make the installer more versatile, but also easier to maintain and improve. So, updates will be simpler, and they're hoping it'll encourage more community contributions as well. There are also a few extra improvements in the works, like better support for mobile screens, a log viewer, and enhanced light and dark modes. Right now, the new installer is still in testing, so you won't find it on regular downloads just yet. It's expected to make its first big appearance on Fedora Workstation Live Images, and once it's fully refined, it'll eventually roll out to other desktop installations as well. If all goes as planned, it should be available with Fedora Linux 42. So, whether you're a Fedora veteran or just curious about trying it, this new installer could make a real difference in the experience. Stay tuned if you're interested in testing it out. It's a great time to see what Fedora has been working on.